Denmark is a front runner in saving energy resources from black like oil and coal to green energy. The country is also working on cutting down household energy consumption, so that the residents can save money on heating and electricity. Danish energy policy is based on what is called energy mix that aims to reduce the use of fossil fuels as much as possible. As part of the energy mix, wind power plays a significant role together with waste incineration, small-scale biogas, solar cells, and ground heat. The official target from the Danish government is actually to reduce our CO2 emissions with 40 percent in 2020, and to do that. The first thing we have done is that we have made a new energy plan, and in that energy plan, we will double our electricity mix with wind energy. So, 50% of our electricity will come from wind in 2020. We will double our energy efficiency effort, so we will reduce our energy consumption with 12% while having economic growth. And finally, we will also make smart grid and invest in other renewables such as. Biogas and solar cells, and altogether, this will give us actually 34% decrease in CO2 emissions in 2020, and it's a what you could call an extreme green makeover of the whole Danish energy sector. Uh, our plan is that in 20 years, all electricity, all heating in Denmark will come from renewables. Another very important area is building refurbishment. The really big challenge is, is of course, the existing building stock. Uh, what do we do to ensure renovation, insulation, efficiency in all the old buildings? We got some of them hundreds of years old. Uh, here we plan to make a very long-term strategy to ensure that when people uh, may it be just small houses or big houses. When people will have to renovate their, their buildings in a way, then they do it in an energy efficient way at the same time because that's the most cost effective way. So we plan to use some decades, maybe three or four decades, to get through the whole existing building stock. But the important thing is that when people renovate, they do it properly. The refurbishing is conducted in both private and public sectors. The municipality of Grieve has decided to adopt energy renovations in 50 percent of the public buildings within the next five years. We are renovating uh, uh, half of our um, buildings in in our municipality, and it is uh, done uh, by energy contracting. So we have a guarantee for for the energy savings uh, and and. The entrepreneurs are, are doing the work. Energy saving is going on all over Grieve. In this building, for example, we have uh, the heating of the building is by the ventilation system, and this is very uneconomical. So, uh, as you might see, uh, we change the the heating system. Uh, it's called ceiling uh, radiation he heating by. By radiation from the ceiling, and so we actually change uh, the heating systems uh, from ventilation to uh, hot water system. Grieve is suburb to Copenhagen with nearly 50,000 inhabitants. In 2011, the local politicians made a decision to start refurbishing public buildings, an effort to make energy consumption greener and cheaper. This is the the. the The city council, the the political will of the of the politicians here in our municipality. They said uh, we have to do something to to save energy, uh, to to show the, our citizens uh, that that we are doing it ourselves. We are renovating our houses, and so we also can say to our inhabitants here that that uh, they could do the same. Actually, everybody, many houses, can save 20 percent, uh, quite easy. Mogens Hansen and his wife live in Grieve. They're one of the pioneers in the neighborhood who started energy renovation in their house. Huset er ældre dato. Det er bygget i 1968. 
Our house was built in 1968, and according to the increase in energy prices, we could see that we could save money in changing our electric heating system, together with refurbishing our house in an energy-saving way. We have invested 560,000 DKK, around 100,000 US dollars, but we have a positive economic outcome, as the surplus on the energy bill can finance the loans we have. And in the same time, the value of the house has increased. The renovation was completed a month ago. The house now looks like brand new. We have had a bigger energy renovation of our house to optimize the energy consumption. We have solar cells installed, had our roof refurbished and isolated, new doors and new windows. Furthermore, we have got some extra isolation in the walls between the windows to reduce cold from outside. In the capital Copenhagen, Gaudenrys Park and District is another example of how refurbishment can make a better environment and save money on energy consumption. A large ventilation system in this area offers ground heat to warm up a nearby nursery school. The nursery school is very um, special because it's built after the European standard of passive house building. And that means that according to today's building regulations, it uses 50% less energy for heating uh, the building than an ordinary building built after the building regulations in Denmark. Um, and this is done by making very thick walls with very, uh, very thick insulation. Uh, we have uh, 425 millimeters of insulation in the walls, and we have 450 millimeters of insulation in the ground slab and in the roof. So um, it is uh, packed with insulation, and furthermore, we have a green roof that makes it uh, cooler in the summertime and uh, makes the discharge of water less because uh, the green roof. Uh, uh, uses the water that um, lands on the roof, so you have less discharge to the uh, community system. In the case of Gaiden and Ris Parken, the refurbishment took place while the residents were still living in their apartments, which made the renovation work rather special. The special thing about Gaiden Parken was building uh, the houses, uh, making the uh, refurbishing the buildings while people were living in them. Uh, we had to construct a uh, construction, a new facade construction, where we took out the old windows and uh, the old facades and put in new uh, constructions uh, on top of them. Um, so uh, the special thing about it was to, to take out these bi big building blocks and put in new building blocks while people stayed in the houses. Matt Parkno has lived in a guide and rest park since 1966, and she knew best what it was like having construction workers working in her bedroom. <laughs> But even if things were a bit hard for a few months, she's very happy with the result. It was hard to start as we couldn't move around much, but we got used to the refurbishment process. We had walls in our living room so all the furniture was placed in one end. But we got the best out of the situation and we had heaters to our disposable. In hindsight, it was not that bad. The investment for the green refurbishment of Guide and Rest Parken was partly taken from a fund called Land by Gefunden, which is famous for projects like this. The investment in, 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 in Guide and Rest Parken uh, equalizes almost half uh, the cost price for new housing, uh, and that means uh, we have invested. Uh, uh, in Danish crown about one million in each uh, flat uh, and, and if we had to build new flats it would have cost uh, more than two million uh, each uh, flat. Energy renovation is almost paying for itself in the long run like it does in Morgan's Hansen's house where the electricity in the future will come mainly from the solar panels installed on the roof. Morgan's Hansen sells his surplus of electricity in the summertime to the public provider. So in the end, his electricity bill is close to zero at the end of the year. Keep an eye with how much the solar installation produces. But we have a state-of-the-art Chinese system that tells us how much it produces on a daily basis, but also how much it produced in a year. In the same time, we have two counters, one that tells us how much we have sold to the public net, and one tells us how much we have bought. In this way, we can also see how much our net cost for our electricity. 
Solar cells as energy source have not been the top priority of the government, but merely seen as a backup to other renewables. Only a few years ago,、uh, we considered solar cells to be too expensive to actually be a, a major part of our energy mix. We have changed that attitude now,、uh, due to the, the decrease in solar cell prices. We also foresee the solar cells will play a big role.、Uh, we have just made a new support scheme for solar cells, and we expect that to、um, increase, especially if the prices of solar cells will continue to actually decrease. But of course, there is not so much solar in Denmark as there is wind. So wind will be our primary、uh, source of renewable energy,、uh, but the solar cell will play an important role as a backup. Waste incineration has been a major source for producing both electricity and district heating in Denmark. At the plant here, we incinerate about 400,000 tons every year, and、uh, half of it comes from industries, and the other half from the households. And、uh, from that waste, we produce power and district heating that we give back to the city. And、uh, when the waste comes in, 20% is converted into power. And the remaining uh, 80% uh, of the energy content is、uh, converted into district heating. And、uh, to relate that to、uh, the consumption, you can say that、uh, we are able to supply about、um, 65,000 households with power、uh, on an annual basis, and about 85,000 households with district heating on an annual basis. Grieve has invested about 12.4 million U.S. dollars in the energy renovation of public buildings. It's an investment that will be paid off in 13 years, but this is only the beginning. Like other municipalities in Denmark, Grieve's goal for a more green society is set high. Now we have、uh, we have taken the the we say the low ha- hanging fru- fruit.、Uh, this is. The economical way to renovate the buildings, but in the future we might have to go into the buildings again and uh, and uh, do even more. In Guidenris Parken, Matt Partnov had to pay an extra 88 U.S. dollars for the apartment she rents after the energy renovation. But this has actually become a good investment for her. Thanks to a lower energy consumption, she saves money for her annual bills for heating. Yeah, they were on good mode. I usually have to pay around five to six hundred krona when the heat account for year is made up, but this year I have four thousand three hundred krona in refund, and that was a pleasant surprise. So now I have a little extra for my vacation.